Hey everybody, my name is Andy Wynn. I run Wynn Photography here in Denver. I'm a portrait photographer, but I also do um, classes in Photoshop, uh, Lightroom, and other post-production skills training, in addition to run theme shoots, uh, lighting workshops, and that kind of thing. So um, today we're in Lightroom, and I'm going to show you a few of the tools that will help you sort and, and narrow down the photos that you're going to either edit or present to your clients. So I have a folder here from a shoot that I did a couple weeks ago with a beautiful local model. Her name's Vanessa. Um, I've got about 90 some photos in this folder currently. I'm going to sort them out so make them a little easier to manage. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is either pick or reject the photos. So, P on your keyboard will pick. You know, reject is accomplished by pressing X. So, if I go through quickly, I can quickly P or X each of these photos. So I'm going to do some of these real quick. Just going to blast through them. Oh, uh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> this is quick. Um, you can undo any of these changes at any time. But my intent with this first round is to pick which of these photos I'm going to want to look at again in a bit and which ones I'm never going to want to see again. Uh, I get pretty busy, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time going back to photos if I know for a fact that was weird. Random plant. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was saying I get pretty busy, so I don't want to waste a lot of time going back and forth. and I want to have things sorted so I know, you know, Pretty much, if I oh, there's a kitty cat. I get distracted by cats. Gonna, <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna keep that just for fun. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll try to finish that thought finally. Um, I get pretty busy, so I don't want to waste a lot of time going back and forth and you know seeing the same photos over and over if I know that there's nothing I'm gonna want to do with them. So, um, all right, no, so that's good enough. I'm not gonna go through the entire thing. Just to give you an idea. So from there, um, I can sort them out. If I click on this little flag button on the left up here, if, if you can't see that, click on attribute, and then you can sort them out based on the flag status. So these are all the picks. These are all the picks that that I that I just did. If I want to see nothing but the rejects, I just click on the black flag, and these are the ones I've rejected. So say I accidentally and messed up, and yeah, I want to actually pick that one. I'm going to hit P. You can bring that back into the mix. So, okay. So now I've accomplished my first step. I went from 90 some photos down to 52. My brain is already a little happier because I can. I'm a dude. I can only do my two things at once, and one of those things pretty well. The other one is just you know kind of a train wreck. So, um, the simpler things get for me, the the easier it is. Now from here. Uh, you can use star ratings. So one through five on the keyboard. Uh, the way I use that is five means best of the best, one means eh, not so much. So if I'm going to go through these using one through five on my keyboard, um, that's a four, that's a three, I like that one a little better, that's a four, that's a two compared, I'm just relatively comparing these, I like that one a lot, that's a five, uh, that's cute, but you know maybe not so much for the for the shoot, I like that one, that's a four, Three, three, four, five, three. So you get the idea. Just one through five in these. Okay, so from there, um, at the top, I've got the star, these little star guys. If I click on five, that's all the ones that I marked as a five. So now I'm from what, 48, I think it was. I'm down to five. Okay, so my next task is to compare the similar poses. I did pretty good sorting these out. Like these, these two, these first two don't look anything like each other. These last three are, are similar. So if I want to just narrow the focus onto these three images, I'm going to click the first one, shift, click the last one. And if I press N on the keyboard, the letter N, they all pop up right next to each other. I can quickly see that. Yeah, these, I like this pose over here on the right much better. I'm going to click the little X button down here. 
get rid of that one. Okay, that's the one that I love out of these. So I'm gonna click X there, right? If I want to go back and eliminate this one, I can just press four on the keyboard. Remember, I'm filtered to five stars here. And then out of these two, I decided this one was my favorite. So if I click on this one, I'm going to press 4 to mark that 4 stars. Now I'm down to my 3 final for to edit for this session. All right. Just for now, I'm going to clear out the stars. So we come back to all the images. Now I have those 3 highlighted still. If I press 7 on my keyboard, that's going to mark them. It's going to mark those yellow. Um, this is color coding. So the key, the number six, seven, eight, and nine on your keyboard are going to color code the photos that you have selected. So, for example, if I push six on this one here, that's red. So, people use these for different uh, purposes. What I do for color coding is, for me, yellow means ready to be edited in Photoshop. Green means completely done, ready for export as a print, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, color coding, it just makes my brain work a little easier. Again, if I click the yellow button at the filter bar up top, then it, these are the ones that are ready for exporting to Photoshop. So that's a quick and dirty um, explanation on, or you know, a quick little tutorial on how to use keyboard shortcuts to um, to filter the photos out. Um, there's quite a bit more to calling. There's a few other things that you can do, uh, but for now those are to me the most useful ones. So um, flagging, picks or rejects, uh, color coding and star rating, and then using that N button to, to compare a couple photos next to each other. I, I think N for next to each other. is <laughs> That's how I think of that. So Okay, well, thanks for watching. Uh, my name, again, is Andy. Uh, I run Wind Photography, and I, I do plenty of local classes and workshops and that kind of thing. So um, I'll have links for that available in the description of my YouTube channel. Um, and I will see you guys around. Thank you.